Nina Simone for Kids. Nina was one of the most extraordinary artists and women of the 20th century. Here's why. She was born in a small house in North Carolina and had seven siblings. Her dad played many musical instruments. Her mother was a preacher and sang at church. Nina learned to hum before she could even talk. She was very good at playing the piano. When she was 12, during a concert, her black parents were forced to leave their front row seats so that white people could sit there. This made Nina very angry. Her dream was to become America's first African-American concert pianist. Sadly, she wasn't accepted into the institute that could make that happen. Some people say they rejected her because of the color of her skin. The racism Nina experienced fueled the rebel in her. She was an active participant of the civil rights movement in the 60s. Her songs became more political as she got famous. Nina composed To Be Young, Gifted and Black, for example, to make black children all over the world feel good about themselves forever. Another one of her hits, Feeling Good, is her own version of a song sung by a black character in a British play. It's probably the most well-known version of the song. Nina's music was a true reflection of what black America felt back then and how it still feels to this day. Her voice is the voice of thousands of people. And you should definitely listen to what she has to say. Check out our special Spotify playlist in our blog, as well as tab music to learn I Wish I Knew How It Would Feel To Be Free on your load. Hey, before you leave, please like the video and consider subscribing if you'd like more story time for rock stars. The end.